Now that we have power back, welcome back to some more Stormworks. I am Stormrunner Gaming, and today I am here to present you guys with the new uh, Jet Engine update to Stormworks. I don't remember the exact number for it, but the developers have thrown in the most requested thing from the Discord channel, probably from Steam also, but everyone wanted jet engines into the game, and here we have them. And I have built a little mock-up one right in front of me, so if you guys stick here for the rest of the video I show you guys how to build something just like this so you can jump back and take this to the workshop and I'm gonna start a brand new thing here and build my little platform real quick decently big and delete that little block there so of course we're gonna need a couple different parts and the cool thing is the jet engines do come in different parts so you're going to need a small jet intake or a large one you're also going to need a jet combustion chamber as well as a compression chamber. And then you can also put in ducting in between that. And you're going to need an exhaust basic or an afterburner. And the only difference between these two going on to it is that the exhaust basic does not take fuel and the afterburner does. But the afterburner, of course, gives you more thrust in turn. So for this tutorial today, I'm just going to be going with the basic exhaust here. We're also going to need blocks to build with, a fuel tank, some pipes to connect up the fuel tank, and we're also going to need a pump for our fuel. So now we can get building right here. We're going to place a few blocks up a little bit so that the engine is not hitting the ground currently. We're going to set up our propeller or our intake. And then we're going to go up and set our compressor into it now, facing away from the intake now. Then we're going to be putting the ducts right behind it. You can just leave this part out entirely, or you can add in a thousand depending on the size of the jet engine you want. Now we need our combustion chamber after that and then our exhaust. And you can also add in different parts, like you can add in a small or medium turbine to increase the speed of it, but that has actually caused a lot of jet engine fires. I'm not exactly sure how to keep it running cool with those running on there. So this basic engine we've got here won't overheat for the most part, as I've been working with it. But the next part we need to do is set up a fuel tank. We're going to have to take off our symmetry mode. And we're going to be running some pipes to the fuel down below here. And of course, one of the things we do want to remember, we're going to be needing that pump we grabbed earlier from our menu to run some fuel over to it to our jet engine. So we're going to be putting that in there real shortly. Add the pump in there, making sure that bigger end is facing towards the engine. Looks like we're going to have to run it off to the side because we don't have enough room there. But no worries. It will still work fine. The main reason we do need a pump, and you don't need a pump on a base, a, um, advanced engine, about to say basic engine, is because the advanced engines do have a pump that work on them for fuel of up to 10 blocks high so if anywhere if your fuel tank is anywhere between 10 above or 10 below it'll pump the fuel there but if you're further away than that you're going to need a pump on that system anyway we're going to be jumping into controls for it so we're going to need a toggle button as well as a throttle and a battery to power everything so we're going to grab a medium battery as well and stick that on here and while I'm thinking about it, we're going to have to switch our large fluid tank over here to jet fuel from diesel so that it'll run. And now we're going to need two toggle buttons and one throttle to run on here for our engine. And first off, we're going to be connecting all of our power to everything. While I'm thinking about power, you can build jet engines in the simple mode, but of course you're taking away the power and the fuel aspect of the engine. So it's just like connecting anything else together in the simplified mode. But next we're going to be taking our throttle and moving it over to the combustion chamber. And we're going to take one 
toggle button and move it to our jet compressor and the other toggle button over to our fluid pump. Let me make sure everything is good. We got jet fuel, we got everything connected up to there and power connected up to everything. So we'll save it up as a jet example one. And now we can spawn it in and see how it runs. And one of the problems about testing these things out is that once you start them up, they're going to start to fly away. So we've got our air intake running right there with the compressor right there. And we're going to turn on our fuel pump there and give it a bit of throttle. And it comes to life right there and hit max throttle. And we got a little bit of thrust. And right now, the engine does not pump out that much thrust. You can see we're moving a little bit already, like a type of jet sled. But if you want to really maximize your power, you can do some crazy things with jet engines to increase the power. Like I have my jet engine test 21 here, to where I put two intakes on the engine, one on each side coming into a T section into the rear of the engine. And then I've also set up an afterburner to give me more power and I've put in a jet turbine small here to increase the power as well but I've come up with a problem with this engine is that it overheats and then it will actually catch fire when I'm running it so I'm not exactly sure how to fix this but this thing will get moving very fast here and it is basically just like the engine I was building earlier, but you're, of course, going to have to run more fuel to the back here, add this little section in, and split your air intakes to double. So we can get this thing running here with the dual air intakes running now and our fuel pump. And we can give it a bit of throttle and it starts up pretty quickly. You can even hear it's got more power than the other one. And we can throw it to max throttle and turn on the afterburner. And you can just see the amount of power coming off of it. And it's about to catch fire in here in a second or two. Yep, there it goes and we lose power. And I really am not sure how to stop it from overheating. I've tried a couple different things with controlling because the engines do give us a couple different data ports for the temperature. So I was testing out during a stream today on Twitch um, with my jet engine boat. I was trying to take the temperature of it and run it to some logic to turn the throttle down to not overheat the engines. But all in all, the boat would still overheat and catch fire. So if you guys have figured out what you need to do to keep these engines cool, you can of course leave a comment down in the video below or you can join my Discord and tell me there directly so I can probably make another video on it to tell everyone about how to keep these engines cool while creating a lot of power. But anyway, that has been all the time I think I have for some Stormworks Advanced Jet Engines today. So if you guys did like this, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel to stay up with Stormworks updates and more of my content. But I've never been great. Goodbye. Some people need me and I need to go.